Hi, welcome to this demo of nCommander. nCommander is a file manager that is written in Java. I've developed it in Java so it will work on Windows, Mac OS X and Linux. So as you can see, it looks a bit like some other file managers that you can find. You can have what's called directory tables here. And you can also have something which looks more like Windows uh, uh, Explorer. So you have a toolbar where you can add your programs. For example, if we add Google Earth, just right click and say add program to the toolbar. And now you can start Google Earth from the toolbar. Mm. Otherwise, it's very easy to go through directories. So for example, let's go through a zip by just pressing Alt, the Alt key and click. I just can go, for example, here I'm inside the zip file and you can see you can very go very easily you also have bookmarks you can bookmark some location so here I have a directory and also have another uh, FTP uh, directory you can also see the history so only if you stay more than one and a half seconds in the directory it's recorded in the history so you can easily go back you also have of course uh, different routes and it's called parent if you want to go up one by one you see here it's the whole uh, hierarchy so let's go back where we were as you can see depending on the extension also the file have different colors you can also start for example a shell that's uh, if you want to execute something then you can for example if you want to edit you have two things you have an internal text editor so I'm pressing now F3 key here or you can have an external one for example I'm using uh, JEdit to edit files um, then you can load and save different configurations so let's load another configuration it's called something demo panel which is also included in the release so now you see we have a another look and feel, we have another toolbar also the menu bar is different so here you have what you already seen now you see I've added another panel here which is called a mega toolbar which contains a lot of actions um, here you have an image viewer so here is a to view images so you can arrange panels as you want and as you can see the image I can see I'm seeing here I include as image in a char file it's not in the standard file system here is you have the text editor you can find word so it's a simple one and you can also very easily browse through it you even can have an applet viewer in it so if you know some nice URL where you have an applet just put it there so as you can see the panels can be in a tab or it can be can have its own tab or it also can be in an external window like for example um, here if I open it somewhere else uh, so this, well, it's an empty file this one but here for example you see it's in an external window and you can also have a command line where you can browse through directories so here for example I want to go in the task directory I'm here, you see the nice background I've put then I execute the dir command and I have the list of the of the files ok now we can also change the look and feel so uh, let's have fun with some few look and feels so let's start with this one hey something else one meta we another view so not everything is applied oh this one is bad oh one eccentric a bit okay of course you have the windows look and feel Okay, now you recognize Windows. Okay, let's try one or two more. Uh, for example, the BOS. Okay. 
okay um, other things you can also execute a lot of different actions uh, so let's go back to the original thing Ooh, now we have some mixed look and feel so we'll just go back to the windows one um, okay uh, let's configure let's look at the different actions so you can execute a lot of things with files rename replace zip and zip delete so delete will put it in your recycle bin or you can also uh, uh, delete it completely uh, you can synchronize directory you even see you have CVS tags some Java task uh, some uh, MD5 change mode XML validate so navigation you also have so the history to go back from one directory so if you go there you here you have the back function forward so as you have also an HTML viewer in it you can also use it for example the help is using it but you can also put it so here I go back um, Maybe also something else uh, I'd like to show you was uh, um, so was the different action where I was here. So you can navigate through a lot of directories. You can configure your own directories with bookmark with overlays in it. So here is a directory a table. So you can you have different actions to select to print the table to have the list of your uh, files. You have the image viewer with the different zoom actions, the editor which also have a copy paste, fine. Uh, so you can add panels, you can remove panels, uh, you can also add for example your own panels uh, if you prefer. And you can fully customize it, so you can fully customize the toolbar, uh, the menu, also the pop-up menu when you click on a right click on a file. Uh, you can also add for example Windows actions. So here you see, hop, I'm just starting the calc uh, program of Windows and so on. So then you have some external action if you add some your own program here. So you can add also your own action. Then it also has a plugin system. Um, it has different plugins, for example, Build Shell. Uh, SSH, Telnet, so this is for people that are more advanced. Some byte can do the FTP, WebDAV, uh, file system. So you have also some plugin for to read the uh, TARGZ and VZ2 uh, files, a VNC viewer, some extra enter task, and the different look and feel. I'll show you uh, a few of them that you can install. So, okay, that's it. This was uh, N Commander version 1.0. You can check it at www.ncommander.com. I hope you enjoyed this demo. Bye.